Welcome. Right here I have a hanging seashell towel designed by Creative Art Expressions that I'm going to be using as an example. And I'm going to be using peaches and cream yarn. So we're going to look at the label. And it says 2.5 ounces is equivalent to 70.9 grams. And it has approximately 120 yards in this scheme. And my project weighs 70 grams. So with this information, we can calculate yardage. Let's see how. Okay, we know that there's 70.9 grams, so we write 70.9 grams first. We're gonna divide it by 120 yards, which is contained in one skein. So write 120 yards right under that. And equals, so we look at our Oops, bumped it. It said 70 grams, so we write 70 grams over um, yards. We're going to do question mark yards because we don't know what amount of yardage we have. And that's what we're going to find out. Okay, so let's set up the formula with what we know. We are going to be multiplying the yarn's length in yards by the project's weight in grams. And so it's going to be 120 times 70, which equals 8,400. We're going to be calling that X for this problem, and we're going to move it down here. 8,400, and we're going to be dividing it by the yarn's weight in grams. And 8,400 divided by 70.9 equals 118 and yards. And that makes a lot of sense. Ew, did you just burp like you're gonna vomit? Sorry, that's my kid. Um, so that makes perfect sense because we have 70 grams here that we measured this out to be, and a skein holds 70.9. So their math is accurate, and my math is accurate. And we know there's 120 yards in this, and then we got 118 yards back for this project. And this project took me about one skein of this, which is true for that project, because this project, I used up all this yarn, and yeah. Look at this. I have photos of this, like artistic photos, because ah, I loved it. Okay. But yeah, so thanks for watching.